拆去可以去看。Okay, shake hands. Shake hands. No hitting below the belt. No biting. No hair grabs. Tell me we're gonna fight again. No, that's it. Oh, okay. Is there another? No, that's it. That's it. That's from one angle. There's another video from another angle. But uh, that's pretty much it. Is that when he's going to the hospital? Or? No, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they even do that? <laughs> wow. Everybody's amazed at how this even happened. <laughs> Oh, he looks out of me. He's just in shock. He's never been punched before in his Tai Chi training. So. Well, I like his uniform. His uniform is nice. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he won in the uh, style. In the style. <laughs> Ten points. Wow. That was horrible. Yeah. All right, that's the end of it. And yes, we are giving away these free DVDs, Accelerated Wing Chun System Quick Start DVD, normally retailing for 129 bucks. But enter the contest. All you need to do is to subscribe, click the notification bell, and like and comment on this video, and you'll enter automatically into the draw. Every week, we're gonna give away a free video. So, good luck. Yeah, so what do you think about this video? What do you think? MMA versus Tai Chi. I think those those two words should never be put together again. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. My question is, how long did they plan this match before it actually happened? Yeah, because it looked like there's a lot of people there. Dude had no game plan whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Okay, so MMA versus Tai Chi. What do you think about this video? Do you think MMA, um, do you think Tai Chi is better or MMA is better? Probably not a good question to ask, right? So come back and we're gonna give you some more comments about it. So here's a review of what I think the strategy of the Tai Chi guy had, like lack of strategy, or maybe he had a strategy, all right? So um, in Tai Chi, he's probably doing this, opening up his stance, just like this, opening up stance. Um, because he's baiting for the guy to punch. <laughs> but guess it probably backfired, right? Yeah. Okay. It only works when you're fast enough. And he obviously he wasn't fast enough. Okay, I'm baiting for him to punch in the middle and boom! I got punched and then basically after that it's over. Okay, the guy's reeling back trying to recover from that first punch and then there's a whole full barrage of punches after that and he doesn't have any defenses against that, okay? So if he was faster, maybe he could have done that, right? So because in uh, Tai Chi, we had the, strum, the strumming, strumming the lute, right? It's up and down. So he had the strumming, strumming a lute posture, but a little bit too high. Okay, so he opened up all this, and all he had to do, the guy has, had, his, had his fist down here, right? All he had to do was boom, right? How can you, how can you parry that? You have, to, you have to be that fast, all right? And another, back, another thing he's doing is leaning back like this. He's already setting himself to be, you know, to be knocked over, right? So he wasn't fast enough, first of all, to parry this. So you got punched, boom! And already I'm falling backwards and then just a few. There's no way I can defend against all these barrages of, of punches, okay? So technically, that was what I think happened, right? What do you think? Yeah, okay. yeah. So the guy got his first punch, first jab, knocked him back, and in Tai Chi, you don't actually hit when you train. So we probably didn't know how to recover from a hit in the first place. 
Okay. He tried to use some angles, but it didn't work for him. <laughs> yeah, try to do some angles, try to move around, but too slow, right? Just, just the the MMA guy was just a lot faster, and he's a lot more, a lot more non-telegraphic with his jab. Boom! It's very hard to, like, okay, in Tai Chi, what they do is they push hands, right? Okay, push hands. It's that slow, right? And they train against punches that come in like this, right? They try punches coming like this, and oh yeah, I can parry it, and I can do this, right? It's good. To train the sensitivity, to train the um, the movement, the connectivity, and the balance of your body, and it's really good. You develop an attribute of being rooted. Okay, you develop attribute of being able to flow and blend with the energy. But the problem is that they don't train to fight. It's just the drills. They're confusing that oh, I'm really good at push hands. I can really good, be good at this drill. But then they don't train to fight. They think that the drill is the fight. That's a problem, right? Okay, and a lot of people in Wing Chun have this problem too. What do they do? They do this. They do this. What is this? Is this a fight or is this a drill? Chi Sao. Drill. It's a drill. So they think that, oh yeah, I'm really good at Chi Sao, but then confuse the drill with learning how to fight. Okay? Learning a drill doesn't mean that you're gonna learn how to fight. Learning a drill will develop an attribute. What's the attribute that's being trained when we do Chi Sao? Okay? We're doing the attribute of learning how to create sensitivity. It's an attribute, it's a skill, but it's not how to fight, okay? So I think, I don't know what this Tai Chi guy is gonna do. Maybe he might train more to figure out what he is not doing, right? What's missing in his training, right? Yeah. Right? And then if he, if he really worked hard and figured out what's missing in his training and then add that in his training, maybe he might get better in chance of uh, uh, fighting an MMA, MMA, MMA guy, right? <laughs> no, probably not. Okay. It'll take a lot of training, right? But but the key is is this, right? Look at look at MMA. MMA for a long time, all the grapplers were winning, yeah, right. And yeah. then um, all the people, all the strikers were losing. And then they're saying no striking works in MMA, right? Yeah. Back back a while before, but now you see all the strikers are now winning. Yeah. They're dominating sure. MMA now. So what did they do? Is it because you know they're better or something? Uh, possibly, but what they did was they changed the strategy. Right? Yeah. They adapted to um, what was happening in the MMA arena. Right? They say, okay, how do I fight a grappler with striking? And they figured it out, and now they're dominating. Maybe the grapplers will come up with a new strategy and say, okay, now how do you figure out how to fight the strikers? Yeah. Right? So it's really like, what, like, what is that guy in, in, uh, in Tai Chi training? Is he training to fight against an MMA guy? Or is he training just to fight against other Tai Chi guys, right? Same thing in Wing Chun. Are you training to fight against MMA guys? It's completely different training than fighting against someone in the, on the street for self-defense. It's totally different, okay? Because they, they were shaking hands, okay? They were prepared, uh, and even in that match, right? They shook hands, they were using rules and shit like that. But in a real fight, people come at you, boom, they don't care. There's, there's no guard, there's no, there's no time to prepare, there's no cameras. Nobody's going to help you get up. No one's going to wipe your blood off your face. All right, it's just you by yourself. All right, probably against a lot of people, maybe two or three attackers, and you're going to be scared. Yeah. It's completely different from a a real fight. So, what are you going to train it for? Are you going to train to fight MMA guys? Then if you do that, then train against MMA guys, right? Are you going to train Tai Chi and learn how to develop your balance and for health and for uh, sensitivity and grounding and rooting? There's a lot of stuff that benefits a lot of attributes you can develop with Tai Chi, but are you training that for that? Or are you going to train it against, uh, to fight in, uh, in competitive, competitive matches? Or are you going to train it for self-defense? So you're going to decide, if you're studying martial arts, what is the goal that you want to train for, right? So, so people are saying, is MMA or Tai Chi better? I don't think it's really, that's, that's not really the question, right? Yeah. The real question is, is what do you, you as a martial artist, want to train for? And how, how are you going to train? Okay, and how are you going to adapt to what you want to achieve? Exactly. Yeah, okay. 100%. Yeah, so, so that's my take on this video. And it is pretty, it's a ridiculous match, right? <laughs> I don't even know why the guy would do that. Should have never happened. And it, maybe he, he just caught me and said, yeah, my Tai Chi is so powerful. I got this lineage, you know, so-and-so Sifu and master and such, right? I've been practicing for training for 20 years and I'm going to beat the crap out of this. MMA guy is so cocky that he can beat me and honestly proved wrong. Yeah. Right? Lineage doesn't matter. All that matters is training. <laughs>
many people think that they can count with their history or with their uh, lineage or with their you know background. None of that matter when you you're fighting. It's just have you trained? What can you do? Does it work or not? Right? Yeah, that's I think that's what anything. Whether you're boxing, whether you're a wrestler, whether you're like martial artist, I think it's with anything. You have to be prepared for. Um, what you're gonna do for one when you come come up against an opponent and uh, what that opponent actually knows. So yeah, like in a match, you know what the guy is capable of, right? You know basically what his style is gonna be. But in the street, you don't know. You don't know how trained they are. You don't know how what style they are, right? You don't have time to you know watch his videos and see what his moves are. You don't have time to spar and dance around and see what how he's gonna react to your 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 attacks or defenses. So in the street, in self-defense, you have to be able to react right away. You have to have moves that work most of the time. Okay, you can't say, okay, what if he's gonna do that? I'm gonna do this, what if he's gonna do that? You need moves that you just have to react to that are gonna work most of the time. Well, not all the time, because you can't predict everything. Yeah. But you need moves that are gonna work most of the time. Okay, and you use those, and you use the ones that have the highest chance of success. That's the best strategy if you wanna learn self-defense, which is different from competitive matches, yes. right? Because competitive matches, you can see what the guy's doing, you have an idea of what kind of, uh, you know, attacks he's going to use, what strategies he's going to use, because, you know, MMA, um, pretty much it's all, you know, same thing, right? So, um, and you have that framework to work with. You know what's going to happen, okay? You know there's someone that's going to stop the fight if they have to, right? But not in self-defense. It's a completely different way of training, okay? Yeah. So I want to know what you guys think about this video. What do you think about training in general and Kung Fu and martial arts and Wing Chun? Uh, what, what, what are your comments? What are your suggestions? What, are, what is your feedback? So subscribe to this channel to get more cool stuff and more talks like this. And we'll see you soon in the next video.